Lynn, thank you so much for being here on Tough Team. You are a UX designer at Tough. Mm -hmm. yes. And my first question that I have for you is a person question. You are big on travel. You've been to so many different and amazing places across the globe. Um, can you tell me about how travel changes your perspective or things that you've learned about yourself and the world that you might not have otherwise learned if you hadn't been to those amazing places? Yeah, so um, I think um, the one that kind of put it most in perspective for me was when I went to China. And it was just like getting out of that shell of everything you're so normalized when you're growing up and everything just makes sense and you go somewhere that's kind of more rural in China and you realize how how much you have and and also in the same way how with the more you have the more complicated your life becomes mm. um like there was a little city I was in called Yongshuo and it was just ideal it was like my dream I loved it there it was simple. You had the cormorant fishermen out on their boats every morning with their birds fishing. And every morning you'd see all the little kids go to school on their parents, little like motorcycles and scooters wearing their yellow caps because it was their uniforms. And life just seemed to move differently there. It wasn't all about, you know, the next big thing or anything. It was just like enjoying your life as you lived it. And I loved that. And good food, of course. But... <laughs> especially good food but yeah just like enjoying your life as it comes and not being worried about the next big thing or how your life is going to turn out but just like enjoying yourself in the moment I love that I love that also you said cormorant fishermen are you meaning to say that like they use the birds to fish or are they like a part of their like how does that work I'm so curious I've never heard you of know? that that's a great question. I just remember we'd go down by the docks in the morning and he had a long pole that went on both sides and he had like birds, cormorants on them. No and way. he takes them on the boy, bird down on the boat and the birds fish and drop off the fish and stuff. No it's way. Cool. Yeah. That's so cool. I'm um, flying straight over to YouTube after we complete this chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's amazing. And he was such a nice guy. You could hold the birds if you wanted and it was awesome. Big birds. They're like big, cool birds. <laughs> They're huge. That's amazing. That's amazing. Um, okay, so UX design is the relationship, like essentially boils it all down. It's the relationship between humans and technology. Your definition, your experience of like humans interacting techno with technology is super broad because of your travels. But like when you're starting a new project, like what's your approach? Where do you go for inspiration? How do you start? Um, for me to make sure I, I know I'm designing it in the right place is I like to put myself in the user's shoes. So if I'm designing a landing page, I like live my life on that landing page for the next couple hours, just trying to test out every little thing, coming at it with a totally fresh mind, like I've never seen it before. Mm -hmm. And then just making sure that I try to test every nuance and anywhere I get confused, I might make a note of it. And then even from there, I like to pull in um, friends, sometimes my partner, I'll pull them in and I'm like, look at this page and just go through it. Anything that doesn't make sense to you or anything that bugs you doesn't, doesn't kind of turns you away from the page. Tell me immediately. I want to know. And so I just try to take it from there. And I think one thing we don't talk about a lot in UX UI design is there's a lot of biases as a designer because you have a realm of knowledge that most people don't but at the same time like you're still a user like your best well, some of your best work is going to come from when you're looking at a page so always putting yourself in like the user's shoes mm -hmm. is always going to be like the number one step plus everybody likes a pretty page so that's always <laughs> a good help <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's so, I mean, every time I, I look at a new design you've created, it feels super intelligible, clean, and linear. I feel like, I feel like almost comforted by how easy it is to navigate. Um, and so I do love that about your design. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and I also noticed that you, sometimes you put the little brain emoji on Slack as your like away notification and you're like, I'm doing a deep dive into design. 
please like protect this space for me. <laughs> I oh, appreciate yeah. that about you too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if I have Slack notifications getting off, going off, yeah, it just kind of like messes up my flow and my rhythm. So I just try to get like totally away and just, especially from like working really hard on a project, I just need to like focus on it. So yeah, big brain design energy. That's what's yeah. happening. <laughs> That's right. That's what you said. That's great. I love that. Um, you are still like, it's, it's crazy. Tough. Everything in tough feels like it happens, you know, in a day, but you've been here for a, a handful of months now, right. which is crazy. <laughs> um, and in that, even in that time, you've created so many cool designs. Is there one or a couple that stand out as favorites? Um, yeah, I'd actually say probably I have a couple favorites. Um, my first is the sesh landing page I did. Mm -hmm. That one was definitely a big brain design energy. It took me a long time and I looked at their brand for hours and I just knew that there was, I love their branding and there's so much potential in it and it just took me a while to unlock it. But mm -hmm. something I do when I design is if something doesn't feel right, it nags at my brain for hours. Mm. I can't rest until I fix it. So I was on that page for hours until I knew it was just right. So is it the kind of thing where you're constantly tweaking or you're just like looking at it, thinking about it, and then you get that light bulb and you know what it is. I'd say it's a tweaking a lot. Like I'll start with an idea and I'm like, no, that's not it. I can tell. And then I tweak it a little bit and go back. And it, sometimes it'll take 10 to 15 tweaks for me to get to the point where I go, oh, light bulb, that's what it needs to be. And I throw that on the page and make it. So yeah, Sesha was one of my big favorites. And another one I really enjoyed was Pathstream. Actually, I did a landing mm -hmm. page with Pathstream. Mm -hmm. um, that one I'm really proud of. I think it's absolutely gorgeous, which is one of my favorite. Every time I look at it, I'm so proud. <laughs> oh, that's gotta be such a good feeling. Yeah, it's, it's really nice to like take back, sit back and look at a page and be like, oh yeah, that's like my brain baby. It's, yeah. it's so nice. I love it. That's great. That's great. Well, Lynn, thank you so much for spending this time here on the Tough Team. Really appreciate yes. your perspective. Um, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks, you too. <laughs>